today I've got something a little bit different for you. This is the beautiful and charming Cloud Gardens. Now, I've spent a little bit of time playing this game and I just want to share my thoughts on the gameplay and show you what I've learned so far. Now, the game actually gives you quite minimal feedback while you're playing, but overall I think that adds to the charm and it forces you to try different things. So the aim of the game here is to give nature a helping hand in reclaiming these small, seemingly derelict, but marvellous dioramas. And I think the art style is wonderful. I love that pixelated approach they've taken. So to start with, we're given this small set, okay? And here we have a couple of seeds that we can take, basically. By left click and then right click it drops it. And this is where all my objects will go um, that I can place down in the world. Now, here it's, it's given me a cactus seed, basically. Um, and you'll learn this as, once, if you get the game and then play through it. Um, and this is a, a sort of a creeper. Um, and essentially we're gonna we're gonna put these seeds down and help them grow. So if we put the cactus down first, let's let's pop it over here. There we go, we've got a cactus down. And we'll pop the creeper down as well. Now you can pop these down anywhere you want. There's no right or wrong answers with this. Now what I found is some plants grow in better areas than others. Um and I'm sure there's still more for me to discover. Um, now we've been given a, a large object here. This is this is a truck. So basically, the larger the object, the more growth you're going to get on your on your seed on your plant. Um, but it has to be within the radius that you can see. Okay. Um, and the closer the object is to your seed, the more growth you're going to get. So let's let's pop this down here. So you can rotate it with a mouse wheel. Let's pop it down there. See, we get a little growth spurt, and actually the cactus has started to flower. Now, in the bottom left-hand corner here, you can see this meter. Once this meter's full, that's you've completed this diorama. Basically, you can you can go on to the next one. So, let's see how we get on. So, if you, if you pick the flowers. You basically add to this meter, and these are your seeds. So in here, this purple bar, once it reaches the middle, you can you can take another seed, okay? Um, and you don't start with all these seeds. I've played through the main bulk of the game and have unlocked all these seeds, and I won't show you all of them. Um, but essentially, these are all the seeds in the game at the moment. Um, so yeah. Now we've been given objects, and th these objects, you put them down same as the truck, and more growth will happen basically. So let's let's do that. Let's pop this on here. What I like to do, the more I've played the game, the more creative I like to get. You know, I like to try and make the set look good. You know, aesthetically pleasing. We've got a couple of pallets here. Let's pop these down. The thing is. See what I'm doing here. If I put if I put this pallet over here, for instance, then my creeper's not going to get any growth. So the best thing to do actually would be to put the box in the middle here, so they both get growth. Continue to pick the flowers as you go. Um, see now our creepers actually produced some flowers. We can take those now. We filled the bar up so we can take another seed. But actually what we're doing now as well is we're filling up this water. And once the water's full, you can take that water and you can actually grow a seed into a, a full mature plant um, by watering it. And it's another way of sort of boosting this bar. And it's it, for, tactic, for tactical reasons, it's good on larger dioramas. On this one, we won't need it, but um, it, does, it does help to sort of expedite things. So now we can take another seed. Um, so let's let's do that. Let's take another seed. So what should we grow? Let's take um, let's take another creeper. 
And let's, let's try and put it on this other side, perhaps. Up there like that. There we go. Maybe put this pallet down here. See, everything gets a little bit of growth there. We stack those and you see now we've got some bricks. Start popping some of this down. You know, you can get creative with this. You can, you know, make it look like it's, you know, actually happened in the real world. You know, maybe stack the bricks together on the pallet, maybe put them on the back of the truck, grow the plants around the truck. It's completely up to you. Like I said, there's no wrong answers here. So we, we can actually take a, a new seed, which I think we should do. Let's let's pop down maybe a tree. Let's see what happens here. Let's pop a tree here. Now this is quite a large sign we're going to put down. This is going to give everything quite a lot of growth, which is nice. Look at that, and everything starts to flower and grow. Beautiful. We got more signage. Take these as we go. Now, as as I've played through this, and as you try to make things look good, it, it almost becomes sort of meditative. It's, you know, it's good for your soul, and it's good for your mind to think about it. It's, it, it really is a wonderful game. It really is. And you have to be careful where, where you put certain items. Like, for instance, if I if I put this sign here, which can't, it, it can only go on the ground, it will actually break the the plant, you know. So if I show you that now, it actually cut all of that away. So now you're losing that growth, and it will reduce this bar somewhat. But you can always recover it. You can fail these if you run out of items. You can fail. It, you know, it's quite it's quite rare. I mean, it happened to me a few times when I first started playing because I didn't quite understand what I needed to do. But um, yeah, it's not so common later on. And we have a new plant. Let's pop another one down. Let's let's pop pop another cactus down and see what happens. Marvellous. Take a little bit of water there, see? Now if we were to take a new um, cactus, for instance, and pop it down here, if we take that water, hover over it and left click, we'll actually grow the plants in the area a lot more than putting objects down next to it. There we go. See that? Some apples on our little tree. Stack our bricks. Have a little bud in there. So we're very close to the end of this particular diorama. We're not helping anything grow there. See, I popped that down and it didn't actually contribute towards anything. So you, what you could do is you could put another seed over here perhaps and continue to build your scene.
And there we go. We've completed this one. And we can skip on to the next. Now, you can stay, obviously, and make it look more pretty and take screenshots and upload them and whatnot. Um, you know, it's it really is a marvellous little game. So let's skip on to the next one. I think overall, it's a wonderfully crafted game with so much potential, you know, for future development. And I really look forward to see what they do with it going forward. I mean, if you're curious about this game, you're not really sure whether to give it a go or not. I, you know, I can't recommend it enough. It, it's so it's so good. Um, and I've really, really enjoyed my time with it. So, I mean, if, if you like this content, you know, please leave us a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And um, yeah, thanks very much for watching.